Do you remember this little bit of painting here? If you, this tight pad blog, it wasn't on here, it was on my old blog. So if you come here from my old blog and you're a regular reader over there, you remember that I did this little bit of painting on camera over a couple of days and I've kind of put it on the back burner for a bit because I've been busy with classes and other stuff. But I was finishing this piece last night and uh, I don't know, I just felt like doodling with relation to this, but not with paint. I'm not really in a paint mood today. So it's quite similar to this other piece I've got here. So I've just got them round me and I'm just going to do a couple of little pencil marks. And it's not going to be marvellous, it's not going to be like Picasso or anything wonderful. But it's just nice sometimes to just doodle with a pencil. So I'm probably copping out a bit here because I'm going to focus on the mirrors. So really it's just a circle. Um, so it's not going to be wildly exciting I wouldn't have thought. But I'm going to put a little few marks on here and then try and represent the weave of this very open very open lace like fabric that I've created and um, try and get a bit of that in a sense, bit of a sense of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a circle and I will need to come back to this at a later stage and shade and stuff because I don't want this video to last forever but I just want to see if I can get a sense of what's going on here on the paper. So there's a pencil circle there and then because the mirrors that are held in the stitch is coming quite close to the centre. So I'm going to try and try and just replicate those a little bit coming in from the outer edge. But I'll probably just do a few of those because they could take a while because there's such a lot of them. Um, we'll just do a few of those to get a sense of those around the edge. And then I'll try and get some of the weaving of the cloth because the, that's the really... Um, important bit for me is trying to get the weave because really it's on your lines for the weave so I'll take a picture of this as well because you might not be able to see it, it might not be showing up on there, I don't know so it's not brilliant but you do get a sense of it um, I'll try and pull in there it is okay. so now this weave is really raggedy warp and weft and you know bits of lace in between so if I just try maybe and marry it in with this so that it merges try and get a little bit of this warp and weft in down here and I kind of twiddle my pencil when I'm doing these lines for warp and weft and I don't want them all to finish at the same place because I want to get a sense of how raggy it is because if you examine it closely it is very very raggy and I'll do some coming out this way from here over to this pink this was ribbon over here, this pink stuff and it could build up, you know, I could extend this over the other painting to merge it all, to draw it all together And I can never remember which is the warp and which is the weft. I'm rubbish. But if I take these horizontal ones all the way across, across that pink, then that's working quite well actually. Because it's merging. It's not like that's there, 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 there. It's kind of like a whole piece that's coming together. Sometimes it's nice just to sit with a pencil and if it's not for anything, if it's not for showing the terms of exhibition or assessment or anything, then it doesn't matter if you make a mess of it, as long as you've enjoyed the process. So I hope you can see how this is coming on. I'll just do this line and then I'll check with my camera and see if you can see that. I'm not sure. Come in a bit more. Okay, so I've got horizontal fibres that way and a few vertical that way so I might continue the vertical of it just to make it look a bit more like it's supposed to look so I could play with this for hours I could extend this up the whole page but I don't really want this video to go on too long and like they're all quite uniform at the minute that's quite a uniform weave I've got there so I'm going to leave a bigger gap this one because it's not uniform at all this this you know this edge here it's not uniform in any way shape or form so so 
So I do think that does give a sense of what's going on on this cloth here. Um, so I'll turn off now because then it's not too long because we're up to five minutes and I'll take some pictures as well. I hope you like it. I quite enjoy doing that. It's good just to just chill and doodle and play with a pencil like you haven't got a care in the world.